Hello and greetings from Iceland. In this video, I'm going to talk about a side story that was brought to my attention recently, or this interview that is six years old and only got better by time. Mr. Haraldur Sigurðsson is a well-known Icelandic volcanologist, and he was in this interview asked to point at Iceland's most dangerous volcano. And his answer was, it is the one that you don't expect to erupt. And even though I don't have any education in geology, I found this answer to be very wise. And uh, something that we need to think about now, or the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is that the Reykjanes Peninsula consists of uh, six volcano systems. Some scientists say that they are five, but uh, more about that difference uh, later on. But the system that is erupting now is Mount Faradalsfjall, here. And looking at history, when one system wakes up, the others follow. And when we look at the earthquake swarm that was going on for the last 14 months before the eruption, it was jumping between all those systems. And when I go further back in time, like the last decade or so, it was somehow expected that the Kreisvik volcano system would be the first troublemaker, if the Reykjanes Peninsula were to give us some troubles. So let's dive into this picture all the way to this lake, and we are now facing Reykjavík, that is only about 15 minutes in front of us, and it is actually shorter distance to Reykjavík now than a month ago, because the GPS station here has moved like 16 centimeters to east, closer to Reykjavík, and 8 centimeters to north. To right, we have Lake Klevavatn, but that lake grew to be famous in the year 2000, when the water level dropped like 4 meters after an earthquake that took place on the south coast of Iceland, near Selfoss, one of the big ones that we get every now and then. It took this lake few years to recover, but it's believed that the rift opened up under it. But that is yet another side story, just to tell you how easy it is to keep up conversations while driving in Iceland. Making Iceland, of course, one of the best countries in the world to drive around with boring people. It's just so many distractions that dull people tend to forget to be dull, mile after mile. Just one of the many benefits of living on a volcanic island. But to the left, we have this rough and young volcano ridge with hot springs, and this is a popular tourist destination. And in fact, this place has been the epicenter of very large part of the earthquakes that have been going on on the peninsula for the last decade or so. And since the eruption started in Faradalsfjall, 10 miles away a month ago, there has been no stop to earthquakes here, if something they are on their eyes. Reminding me about what this volcanologist mentioned, and is so remarkable, that if this system, Kreisvík, will wake up, it might as well, and it is capable of erupting close to or within the capital of Iceland, Reykjavík. And that is by far one of the biggest news that I've heard from a specialist ever here in my country. But this interview is six years old, and nobody was listening to him back then. But uh, times have uh, certainly changed. Six years ago, we weren't exactly expecting that the Reykjanes Peninsula would be waking up now in 2021 for the first time after 800 years, making us uh, take a better look at this fissure swarm that uh, stretches from this place that we are on now and all the way into the easternmost part of the city. So that's where we are now, or over this uh, relatively new neighborhood. And this neighborhood was built on top of... Uh, land with faults and fractures all around. And since I'm curious, I started to do some digging because I wanted to see how it was handled back then from the perspective of science and politics. So I found this report that I'm linking to, and the conclusion of the report was simple. Don't build on top of fractures or faults and stay cool. So this made me travel a bit further back in time and a bit further into the city. And here we are in a bit older neighborhood, and they were building a swimming pool here in 1994 on this same fracture zone, a part of the Kreisvik system. And when the contractors finished to scrape the soil of the bedrock, they found this nice crack or where the pool was supposed to be. So what it did was that they moved the swimming pool for like 40 meters. And that is actually good news for the tourists who are visiting this swimming pool because uh, an eruption would uh, not come up directly onto the pool or the hot tubs. They are hot enough. But uh, I would not keep any valuables in the rental car, because uh, you will be parking your car directly over this uh, fracture. So Mr. Haraldur Sigurðsson, the volcanologist, he mentioned this place especially, or that technically 
it could be possible that a lava intrusion from the Krisovic Vulcan system could come up there or elsewhere on this uh, fissure swarm, close or within Reykjavik, which uh, sounds actually pretty logical, but unlikely though from history. But then we have to look at it that the meaning of unlikely has uh, changed uh, recently. We did consider it uh, very unlikely that a new eruption coming up all the way from a mantle would be uh, going on now in 2021 or eruption that uh, might go on for decades, according to scientists. So when we are talking about unlikely, we have to be very careful. And uh, when I take a look at this uh, 2017 uh, science report, that was made in order to evaluate the uh, easternmost part of the city, or uh, risk assessment, since uh, they have been building a lot here, I did not see anything about uh, the risk of uh, a volcanic eruption close or within the city. So what I'm facing now is uh, two scientists with uh, different uh, risk assessments. And even for the fact that I am not a scientist, nor in uh, any position to take sides, it's just common sense that's telling me that uh, this difference between those two men is far off. One of them is saying, don't build directly over the fractures or the faults. And the other one says, it doesn't matter. It could uh, all go under lava anyway. If the Krisovic volcanic system will start a new chapter after uh, 800 years of uh, reloading, and uh, looking back at history and what scientists have been saying about how all those systems react when one of them does, are we building on uh, wrong uh, risk assessments? Is the easternmost part of Reykjavik safe? Who shall we believe? Or the fundamental question, can a magma intrusion from this volcano system reach the outskirts of Reykjavik? So this is a big question. Based on a science report that uh, one of our best known uh, volcanologists is uh, not buying, but the city of Reykjavik did buy and pay for it. And uh, this is the neighborhood that we are talking about now. But this photo is from 2018. And as far as I know, they are planning to build even more there. And when you look at the upper right corner of this photo, you see an old lava stream there. That one is, uh, I'm told, uh, 4,700 years old. And this lava stream is from yet another volcano system close by the city. And this lava stream stretches all the way through Reykjavik and down to the sea. So I'm just telling you how much is going on around the city. How surrounded the city is by volcanoes, old lava fields, and overall just uh, not very wisely located if we were about to uh, settle it now from the knowledge that we have today. But that's too late. We have to deal with it now. So this is bringing me to the answer that the volcanologist gave when he was asked uh, about uh, Iceland's the most dangerous volcano. Or that would be the volcano that we don't know about yet. A volcano that might come from a lava intrusion that will end up in a place that we haven't been experiencing uh, volcanic activity before. Like we did in Holorain from uh, Bardarbunga volcano in 2014. But in that case, the magma traveled 40 kilometers underground before it came up. And uh, we are around 25 kilometers from the uh, epicenter of the Krisvik volcano system here. So the more I dig, the more questions I get, as usual. And as usual, I'm sharing the questions with you. But uh, my plan is uh, to continue to do the videos I've been doing about the uh, ongoing eruption. But I'm also going to do videos about the surroundings of Reykjavik. Map it a bit better out show you uh, footage, because uh, our city is surrounded by volcanoes, all kinds of volcanoes. So I hope that uh, this series, or trips around Reykjavik, will uh, get your attention, as well as the ongoing eruption, because this all hangs together. I will make an update for the eruption in the next uh, one, two days. And with that, I'm sending you all my best from the volcanic island, Iceland.